welcome to my new Minecraft video. Today I'm showing you the village at which I humbly abode. Today I'm going to show you the insides of my mansion and the insides of my dungeon. First here we have a loft and a mine shaft that goes down to a underground fortress at which I have built and which I will be showing later on during a sec another video. Here's a farm at which I suck at getting animals but I can grow wheat very good. Here we have a general store, which has no purpose because I have no NPCs, unfortunately. This will, this entire village will also be being added to my server that I said that I will be adding other things to in the first video. Here we have a smithy, where I keep all my materials. Here I have the entrance to my mansion. Uh, the dungeon is not complete in this part of the building, but the in the loft it is. Here we have a jail, where in the server I will make it so that the players cannot break any blocks, and this is where they will be put for a ma maximum of about two hours on first offense. Down there is the dungeon. Let's go upstairs. <coughs> the first one we have, uh, well, we have some sitting areas and some windows that people can look out, I guess. Uh, I'm not really creative in this aspect. The second floor. It's a very open area. I haven't put anything in here because I haven't decided what I want. I'm thinking storage areas, but I also have some on the third floor. On the third floor, we have an enchanting on the left side. I keep all my books in the library. I know it's a small library, but it gets me by, considering I don't have to fight creatures all the time. On the right, we have my alchemy section, where we keep all my items and chests. We have a cauldron and the brewing station. On th the last room, we have my bedroom, and we also have where we keep my items, which I uh, currently have none because they are still sitting in my loft and waiting to be transported. And here we have the storage, where I'll keep all my food and my other items. I'll show you my dungeon. Sorry about my computer graphics. I know that they're really slow right now, but I'm actually going to be getting a new computer pretty soon, so it should fix all of that. Oh, I thought I went in the hole. Oh, that's right. I gotta go all the way around. Go down here. Over here we have a little swimming pool. Well, it's also where I gather my water for the cauldrons for when I'm creating potions. Always on that block I always get stuck. This will all actually be landscaped pretty soon. I'm going to be adding an uh, entire NPC village here. I'm going to um, code the NPCs myself. And obviously, you know, that's all the items I sell for gold. Right now, I'm wearing some armor. Pretty cool looking. Yeah. Uh, I currently use the Dooku patch. I think I used that. I, I think I said that in the last video. And down here, we have my dungeon. We have the entrance here. Uh, I have labeled everything. Down this corridor, we have the dungeon and the jail. Which I don't want to really go down there right now, because it's stupid. In here, we have a cavern, which goes down to the mine shafts, which I've also spoke of. In here, we have more storage, and we have signs pointing to my Enderman portal. Let's go show you the Enderman. I'm sure a lot of people have actually seen them. Um, I don't know how many people have killed the dragon. I'm sure hundreds have. Um, I have personally, I've gone there and I've, I died horribly because I, unfortunately, am not very good at killing Endermen. Anyways, this is the Enderman portal. I unfortunately, I'm not going to go in there today. I will when I finally finish and gather enough materials. We'll go in there and I'll fight. I'll also be adding it onto my server, this entire dungeon as well. Anyways, this was just a quick tour of my mansion and my dungeon, and I hope you enjoyed. If you like this, please leave a like, and if you want to give me any tips for anything I should add into my single-player game, please leave a comment, and I'll look on. Thank you. Bye.